Premier League week number 13 and I'm very excited here to give you the match preview Arsenal versus West Ham United and of course on this video ladies and gentlemen I'm gonna give you predicted first 11 that uh, Mikel Ateta is supposed to use uh, against West Ham United and I'll also give you the predicted score on this game is it going to be a draw is it going to be a win is it going to be a loss uh, on Arsenal this is what I'm trying to tackle on this video Equally, I will also talk about the anticipations and expectations of Arsenal supporters worldwide. Remember to comment, give your views, subscribe, share, and of course make sure you are part of this channel uh, so that you can be uh, keep on growing and have better and bigger conversations in the future. Anyway, now we are playing with West Ham United and of course we are traveling to go all the way to London Stadium. To play against West Ham and uh, this is one of the toughest fixtures that we have and when I'm talking about toughest fixtures because uh, this is like a derby to us as Arsenal and you know sometimes derbies can be unpredictable but this Arsenal that is playing at the moment uh, is a total complete different Arsenal unlike the Arsenal that uh, played a few matches uh, b uh, there before this Arsenal is motivated number one is psyched up number two we are playing comp uh, a, co a very compact game we are also looking like we are having direction and number five uh, the team is almost complete we we are having like every player out of injury which is another additional advantage that we are having on this fixture so as you are going to play with West Ham, I have never been excited uh, to meet West Ham when we are at full house okay and why am i saying so this is the same west ham united that we played with the first league last season and they beat us at the emirates stadium very disappointing result that we got last season and to me this game was one of the games that uh, really denied us a, a chance to win the epl last season so as you are meeting with West Ham, because it was even actually on the first league. So as you are meeting with West Ham United, we are going there, yes, with the confidence uh, on uh, our team Arsenal and how we are playing at the moment. But still, we are very cautious to make sure that uh, it is going to be a perfect uh, start of the first league against West Ham. Yes, win it. And then, of course, we stand a better chance of even going to number two. On the EPL table because as it is at the moment uh, Arsenal uh, we are currently sitting at number four with 22 points uh. Uh, Chelsea is at number three and of course we have the same goal, uh, goal difference with the same points but now they I think they checked on the number of goals that we have scored or the number of goals that Chelsea has scored and that is the reason as to why Chelsea is ahead of us on the EPL table Manchester City who are ahead of us with one point uh, they are not playing on Saturday. Even Chelsea is not playing on Saturday. So should we win our game, we will go to 25 points. And it only means that uh, we are going to sleep uh, over the night on that Saturday at position number two. Should we win? So we have to win. There's no option. Anyway, another reason as to why we should win this game is because Manchester City are playing with Liverpool. Should Manchester City and Liverpool get a draw then out of this fixture, then it only means that uh, uh, we will be at 25 points. Uh, only uh, how many points are those ones now? That is going to be like around uh, seven points. Uh, seven points are behind the league leaders. That is Liverpool. And we will be ahead of Manchester City. Should Chelsea get a draw with Aston Villa, then it only means we will be ahead of Chelsea. Equally, we also have another way. Should we beat West Ham with as many goals as possible then we will be convincingly, convincingly be ahead of uh, Chelsea because of the goal difference so this is a must win game and a, a, a game that we must score as many goals as possible anyway we are playing with West Ham who are currently sitting at number 14 on the EPL table with 15 points this game, as I've told you guys, is a competitive game because it's a derby, basically. So we do not want to go there and fab fumble. We have to go there and make sure that uh, we are taking our points out of, out of this game. Now, having I've said so, I want to look on the last five matches that we've played with West Ham and see how we have performed against West Ham. Okay? Now, the last game we played with West Ham was in February of this year. 
And it was among the games that uh, uh, we put a statement out there clearly after coming out of Dubai. It was among the first games because we beat them 6 nil. And uh, that is when we started beating teams left, right, center, everywhere. And then the previous one is the game that they beat us at the Emirates Stadium when they beat us 2 nil. A very disappointing uh, uh, game there, I remember. Very disappointed. I don't even know how we played on that game. I was so disappointed. And then the previous game, they beat us 3-1. In fact, they are the ones who took us out of the EFL last season. And then the previous season, 2022-2023, uh, when we played with them on the London Stadium, we got a draw of 2-2. At the Emirates Stadium, we beat them 3-1. So what this analysis tells you is that uh, when we go to the London Stadium, it can be tricky. It can go either way. But at the moment, the thing that is giving me confidence right now is the way we are playing. And the, the, the way we are playing basically is because of the fact that... Uh, our captain Martin Odegaard is back because Martin Odegaard has been the engine on the last few games that you have, have been playing. In fact, he's the one that has made all of our players to start shining because every player is looking very confident right now at their positions because of what Odegaard has uh, man uh, managed to do and give them that confidence to do. If you check clearly and watch how Odegaard is controlling that midfield, Every time we don't have a ball, is the one that is pressing the opponent to get the ball. Every time we have the ball, is the one that is creating the chances. Every time we are controlling the game, is the one that is controlling the team. Is the one that is giving those passes that are leading into something. So he is the engine of Arsenal at the moment. And having I've said, uh, I've said so then. Uh, if I look at uh, how things are at the moment, I've told you before, the only players that are on injury at Arsenal is Ben White and Tomiyasu. And that this then only tells you that we are almost at 99% uh, back on full squad. And uh, having I've looked at that then, I want to predict to you guys the first 11 that Arteta should uh, choose on this game Arsenal versus West Ham United. Clearly, on the goalkeeper, it has to be David Dreyer. Has been very bl brilliant. That game against uh, Sporting CP, he did two crucial saves, basically. Uh, as much as one of, of them uh, went to the corner and they scored, but he was still very brilliant. So we go with David Dreyer. On the centre-backs, Saliba and uh, Gabriel Megales. That is my prediction. Right-back, it has to be uh, Timba, Timba has been very brilliant and then the left back Calafiori very brilliant also and then uh, midfielder we can, uh, that is the CDM we play with the Thomas Pate on this one uh, and then uh, number 8 uh, we can go with uh, uh, Declan Rice, you know how Declan Rice likes this fixture, you understand and you know why he has to play on this fixture eh? everybody knows why so on the, at number 10 then it has to be Odegaard, given, direct. On the wing, that is the left wing, uh, we are going to play and I'm going to predict uh, we play with the Martinelli to start and then Trossard will finish. Because every time we have put Trossard uh, uh, on the bench and he comes from the bench, he has always been brilliant. Even from this game, the previous game against Sporting CP. And then the right wing, we play of course with the uh, Saka. Star boy, number one in the world, best. Eh? Look, he was even the man of the match on that game against CP. He was doing everything that is supposed to be done by a winger. This, our star boy, is, has been under, underrated with so many people. And uh, they've always been comparing him with everybody. But he has always proven them wrong, season in, season out, because of the consistency that he has. At number nine then, if it was two matches before, I would have said we play with Jesus. But this one, we play with Harvard because when Odegaard is on the team, even Harvard will automatically start shining. And I've said it before from even my previous uh, uh, preview of the match. Odegaard, when he's on the team, Harvard will always shine. So we play with him. And then, of course, on the subs, uh, I want we win this game by first half. And by the time we are hitting the 60th minute, we allow most of our players to rest because we have Man United that is going to be coming uh, on the weekday, on the midweek. 
so we put uh, maybe Skelly, maybe Nwanweri, uh, Jesus is also there. We also have got Trosa to come in to finish on the game. And then, having I've said so then, my prediction on this game, my prediction on this game is going to be very simple. I have come here with my bag and I told you guys from my uh, previous video or my previous banter that this is the bag that is carrying all the goals that Arsenal is scoring. And as it is, this bag, I'm going to fill it with so many goals that Arsenal is going to score against West Ham. Yes, so many goals you're going to score. My prediction is simple. We are going to beat West Ham four and above. A convincing win of four goals and above. That is my prediction. Anyway, Having I've done my prediction then, it only leads me to the next question. What is the general anticipation of Arsenal fans and supporters worldwide? We want to win and continue winning convincingly so that we have a better chance of winning this EPL. And like I've told people, we still have a chance of winning the EPL. It is still open. There's still so many matches that are supposed to be played. Yes, Liverpool are looking uh, very sharp and convincing, but it is still an open uh, league we can still carry it so we must win every game that we are playing on so that we stand a better chance of making sure that uh, we are uh, going back uh, uh, to even being on that narrative of winning the EPL and I know we can actually win the, this EPL expectation number two we are hoping that no more injuries are going to be uh, on our sides yes expectation number three from us and all fans is that uh, the referees will be fair they will not be unfair like they've been in a couple of matches that we have seen uh, from way back. And then, of course, expectation number four is that uh, by the time we are done with this game, another statement will, be, uh, will have been put out there that Arsenal is the team to watch. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what are your thoughts on this, my prediction on uh, the goals, my prediction on the first 11. What are your thoughts? What do you think that is uh, what do you think is going to be the score on this game Arsenal versus West Ham? What do you think is going to be the first 11 that Ateta should choose that is going to meet uh, this West Ham United? Talk to me on the comment section there. Let us keep the conversation going. Remember to comment, like, share and subscribe to this channel. Adios amigos. Salute. Let's meet on the next one.